People have been using poetry to insult each other from the very beginnings of language. The fighting of Dunbar and Kennedy is a famous example. Two poets exchange ritual insults, sometimes over quite a considerable period. And the, the foul insults that these guys trade at each other in excellent poetry has become part of the classical Scottish poetic tradition. And it goes right through to the present day. So rapping is just the latest manifestation of this very long tradition. I was always very wary of, of the rap scene because when I was a kid, it was street. I mean, it was really linked to the street. Being outside a jam, everyone ciphering, somebody saying something that was maybe a diss and then that turned into a battle, that was a natural progression. <laughs> there was no girls. It's just, you know, the air was full of weed smoke, there was fights, there was muggings. It was, it was rough. There was an era where you could win a battle and just get beaten up. When we came in the game in 2003, there was a space for us to kind of come in and do something with, with the jump off events. We were influenced by hip hop in America and we wanted to provide something like that here. I can't remember how many events in, but we started to add to the website little video clips of some battles. And that's how I got into it, through just finding the clips of Professor Green. He came down and watched one of the very early ones and then just got pushed on stage, and he just took off from there. Yo, I'm really spitting time. Now, is it me or is this guy running out of his written lines? Everything I spit, I spit sickly. His name's Rob Swift because he comes too quickly. He was on a different level. He had flow, he had delivery, his punchlines were direct, they were observational, and he could freestyle. We had that seven wins, win a grand thing. He did the seven, came back again. We said if you do two sevens, then you can get two grand. So. He wasn't only the first to ever win seven times in a row. He was the only rapper to ever do it, and he done it twice. So Pro Green built up a name and built up a following and he created a little buzz, then gets offered a deal. Pretty much off the back of the heat he had built from MC Battles. He chose the time to go from I'm a battle MC to I'm an artist and I'm gonna make that transition. 